Hey, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. This time we will create a Pong game in JavaFX in less than 100 lines of code. Let's jump right into the code. So, we are now in Eclipse. I have already prepared a JavaFX class. If you have never used JavaFX before or have not installed it yet, check out my video about it. Here I have already made the necessary imports we need for the Pong game. As always, let's start with the variables. Then we create a graphics object to draw our game. And a timeline. The JavaFX timeline is a free form animation defined by keyframes and their duration. We define the number of cycles in our animation. Indefinite means it repeat endless. Now we set our game controls. The stick should be moved up and down with the mouse. And we have to press the mouse button to start the game. I create a new JavaFX scene and hand over our canvas. Now 
You shower a scene and place a timeline. That's it for the start function. Now all we have to do is finish our run function. Let's take a look. We have a simple window with the desired size and the title. We use the graphic object and create a window filling black rectangle. So now we have a black background. And we do almost the same again for the text. Now it's time for the game logic. Create the ball movement on the X and Y axis. Then we create a simple computer up. Every time the ball goes out, we put it back in the middle. The ball gets faster and faster during the game. Here we make sure that it is slow at the beginning again. And we make sure the ball stays on the canvas. Now it's time for the point distribution. First for the computer,
and the same for the human player. As already mentioned, let's create the speed increase. Finally, we draw the score in the game. I only use one line with a few taps. There we have our score. And the very last thing to do is to draw the two players with a graphic object. So, this is the whole code. Without the comments, we would be under 100 lines of code. Let's play the game now. That's it. You can find the link to the code in the description. If you like what you saw, please leave me a like on the video.